Welcome to our main homestead. Today I'm going to turn this and this into this. building a barrel stove to put in the greenhouse. Um, I recently did a video part one of a pole greenhouse building. Um, so we'll put a link up here somewhere so you can take a look at that. But um, as always, I rarely have a plan on how to get from beginning to end on a building. I'm not a builder, self-taught, so I just kind of learn and make it up as I go. Um, anyway, even if I did have a plan, a lot of times you run into, you know, having to make adjustments or alter that plan. This is one of those. I was getting the building, the greenhouse, ready to put the plastic on, getting everything smoothed out, and realized that I needed a place, bugs, realized that I needed to go ahead and build the barrel stove so I would know where to place it. I'm gonna have to frame either an end wall or the ceiling, probably an end wall, for the stove pipe to go through. Um, so I realized I probably need to go ahead and do that before I put the plastic on. Number one, if you've watched that video, you know I use my mule as portable mobile scaffolding. So I've got to do that and have that kind of planned out so I, so I know that I can access that area easily before I get the plastic on the building. So that's why I'm building a barrel stud. So this is the kit I have. Um, it's about $45 on Amazon. We'll put a link to it in the description. So barrel stove kits are pretty simple. Um, they come with the door, two legs to fit on the bottom of the barrel, the stove pipe fitting with the damper there to fit on top of the barrel, um, a bag full of hardware, screws and bolts to uh, mount everything. Of course, I'll use a marker to make the outline of where I'm going to cut. You can use a lot of different things, a sawzall, if you have a plasma cutter, great. I don't. I'm going to use my handy dandy angle grinder. I'm using a barrel with a removable top. That's the downside to using a barrel like this is there is a seal under here that will melt and make a huge mess if you don't remove it before you're ready to start your first fire. I put the door, kind of got it centered where I want it. So now I'm going to hold this in place and make my mark for my cut for the door opening. going to put a dot at the corners of this vent opening if I can get down in there I may have to approximate So after I made the cuts, I smoothed it out with the angle grinder and then I took a, just a hand file to smooth off any areas that I couldn't reach with the angle grinder. And I'm just going to take my marker and mark any areas that I want to sand down. Any areas that are still showing because I don't want any sharp edges inside this door if I can help it. Got everything pretty well smoothed out and let's see how good of a match we have now. Time to mark my, my bolt holes. Got the door frame bolted to the opening that we made. 
Um, now all that's left to do is do the uh, same process for the stovepipe fitting, drill a few holes so that we can bolt the legs on and we're done. There's how the door fits on the door opening. Again, the beauty of having a removable top barrel is now I have very easy access to the inside to finish the project. You get ready to place the uh, fitting for the stovepipe onto your barrel and then draw the outline to make your cuts and to drill your holes. The uh, damper comes out very easily. You can see on the back side that there's a notch. So all you have to do is push it in, turn it, and then it comes out and then you'll have to turn it several times to get it to come all the way out. Then the damper comes out of the fitting. Then you can place it on the barrel and, and draw where you need to cut. Once I got the legs on it, I went ahead and removed the gasket from under the lid to this barrel. And then I decided I had some of this lying around. Um, I don't know what it's called. I use it to cover uh, my burn barrel. When I, anyway, I decided just to cut it. I measured inside to get it about the right height and about the right width where it would sit. And so let's see how it fits. So here's the finished stove. There's the grate on the inside coming out the door. You can see the legs are bolted on now. And there is the fitting for the stove pipe and the damper. So that was a pretty easy and inexpensive way to build a wood stove and heat a greenhouse. Um, coming up, I'll be doing a video on installing it and framing in wherever I decide to put the uh, stovepipe through the wall. So that'll be coming up. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave us a comment in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.